Welcome people, this is my walkthrough playthrough of the story portion campaign of Bioware's incredible Dragon Age Inquisition on PS4, Xbox One and PC. Now for the purpose of this campaign walkthrough, I am actually going to be playing the superb PS4 version. Now this is the third installment in the um, Dragon Age Dragon Age friends franchise this time around Bioware have made an incredible game using the Frostbite 3 engine and Indeed for their first game on next-gen consoles. It is a very very high caliber offering The main portion of the game unfortunately is only a one-player affair, but the game is huge as you know Bioware Do bring up some fantastic games and if you're wondering who Bioware are, Bioware are they made the superb Knights of the Republic series back in the day on the old Xbox and PS2. Furthermore, this is one of the best games I've played on next-gen consoles <clears throat> and PC. And it is indeed one of the reasons why I got into uh, playing RPGs, really. It's accessible, it looks absolutely gorgeous with lush graphics, amazingly designed uh, backdrops and environments. Excellent character designs that look very real, superb animation, solid voice acting for each character and a story that is so deep yet rewarding with tons of characters coming to the foray as we progress deeper into the adventure. There are like about three add-ons as well, so I'll be playing the DLC at a later date. But without further ado guys, if this is your thing, come and show your support for my newly created HD channel. I'm Bob British, your host, and today I'll be playing part one of my walkthrough. I hope you like what you see guys and I hope to see you on board as one of my subs. And more to the point guys, help me grow our channel by recommending this to your friends. I play many games on many formats ranging from PC, next gen consoles, last gen and old school retro consoles as well as, as, well as mobile gaming and handheld games should the request be there. I'll also be playing The Amazing Witcher 3, so stay tuned guys. Alright, so first off we have four races to choose from, as you can see. I'm going to start with the Konari. <clears throat> and I'm going to play it as a, a mage, because I like ranged attacks. <clears throat> Alright, there's my selection. All right, now this is this is the customization screen where we get to uh, customize how our character looks. Bear in mind that the way the way they look is how they look throughout the entire game. Okay. All right, this is Urza the Wise, my Quinari female character, and I've chosen a female. Shame I didn't get to mess around with her, you know, jiggle her titties or her booty. But anyway, we've woken up in this crazy dimension. I'm being chased by some spiders. There's a, a light ahead of me. Some ladies holding out her hands. And I'm rather curious to know how the fuck I got. Oh my god, better run. Run! You know guys, this came out in 2014 and it is still an incredible friggin' game. And that is the, and that lady I think was the most divine holiness. She somehow died and she's reached out to me to come and save the lands. There's a rift basically that's gonna engulf the world unless I stop it and close them. But what really makes this game are the beautiful visuals and the story which is very well scripted in my opinion. And stay tuned guys, I'm gonna have more of the incredible Uncharted 4 gameplay for you fans and Fang boys and girls out there. Alright, we've been incarcerated basically because we've been picked up. Oh wow, yeah, my character does look rather nice. Indeed. And my bet she has she has big hands. Right now, this is Cassandra. And she's the captain of the human allied forces. And she's here with Liliana, her sidekick. And this is Liliana. Tell me why we shouldn't kill you now. Because, because I have the cookie mix. Destroyed. 
Everyone who attended is dead, except for you. Well, that's because I have the cookie. Mix. I survived because I'm the lone survivor of the Cookie Crew clan. You think I did it? You think I'm responsible. Explain this. That is my cookie mix in hand. Hands off. I can't. What do you mean you can't? I don't know what that is or how it got there. You're lying. No, I'm not. We need her, Cassandra. Yes, Cassandra. Calm your shit. Whatever you think I did, I'm innocent. Do you remember what happened? How this began? I remember running. Things were chasing me, and then... A woman. A woman? She yes, a woman. She held out her, to me. her hand. Then... Go to the forward camp, Liliana. I will take her to the rift. What did happen? It will be easier to show you. Now look how beautiful the armor shines on the bodies and how beautifully the graphics are rendered. So people saying that the Next-gen consoles can't produce beautiful looking games and run them smoothly are just so full of crap, guys. People are getting so carried away with this 4K gaming and top-end PCs malarkey that they forget that the PS4 is a sub-300 pound console and very, very capable of producing excellent games. into the world of demons that grows larger with each passing hour. It's not the only such rift, just the largest. All were caused by the explosion at the Conclave. An explosion can do that? This one did. Unless we act, the breach may grow until it swallows the world. Each time the breach expands, your mark spreads, and it is killing you. It may be the key to stopping this, but there isn't much time. So I don't really have a choice about this. <clears throat> None of us has a choice. Ah, she disapproved of my answer. So yeah, depending on your answer, they, they approve or disapprove. But not to worry, I shall win Cassandra over. Just give it some time, people. They have decided your guilt. They need it. The people of Haven mourn our most holy, divine Justinia, head of the Chantry. The Conclave was hers. It was a chance for peace between mages and Templars. She brought their leaders together. Now they are dead. We lash out like a spy, <clears throat> but we must think beyond ourselves. <clears throat> there will be a trial. I can promise no more. Come. It is not far. Where are you taking me? Your mark must be tested on something smaller than the breach. <clears throat> All right, so let's uh, let's just set our our waypoint. We're going there. And if any of you have ever played the Amazing Skyrim, imagine a game that's much bigger than Skyrim, and that's really saying something. So we've got plenty of game. I do wish that this was online, and there is indeed an online portion which is like Diablo, I'll show you more of that in a, in a future video. But in the meantime, let's focus on the one player adventure, just a shame they missed the opportunity there. I really hope that their next game focuses on, you know, like, focuses on bringing us a large scale online MMO. This will be the perfect game to play online, people. I mean, we have Neverwinter, we have the Elder Scrolls. Oh, shit! Oh, damn, alright. Wasn't expecting that. Wow. Oh, what foul demons are these? 
All right, she's straight in there. All right, Cassandra is the warrior class, so she's always at the forefront. But uh, I'm gonna grab that that mace. Sorry, that um staff. All right, guys, it begins. So click on the R2 button to lock on. Oh shit, let's just uh... I, I love the way she swings that, that staff around. It's a bit like, you know, something out of the Phantom Menace Star Wars movie. going to lead me through a demon infested valley you'll have to trust me give me one reason to trust you because my life is on the line <sighs> you're right if we right. flank them we may gain the advantage <clears throat> all right we go let's just, just attack from down here Remember guys, if you click in the right analog stick, it, it locks onto the target. Alright, so let's, let's just run back up there, because I dropped some loot. Nope, let's just get uh, the loot down here first. <clears throat> and remember, pick up the elf route, because we use those to make potions further in the game. And look at the ice on that, man. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? I'll tell you what, Cassandra, she murdered that fucking demon. Alright, that's another demon dead. Now, I'm going to do most of my fighting from a range because I'm a mage that has elements at my disposal. Cassandra is the warrior, so she'll just jump straight in there and she likes to fuck shit up close up and personal. And in a moment, I'll, in a little while, I'll be joined by two more characters. One more mage and one rogue dwarf as well. Right, let's just send that in there. Let's just quickly grab the loot here. Oh, cheeky bastard, he got me. Here we go. Alright. That's that one taken care of. <clears throat> and I hope you're enjoying this amazing gameplay, guys. This game not only plays smooth, it maintains a very good solid frame rate even throughout the most heated of battles, as you can see. And look at the effects it's thrown around. I tell you what, while they're being, while they're fighting, there you go. Oh, and this is Varric with Bianca, and that is the other mage. And here we are. We're sucking the energy off the roof. We just closed it, by the way. Whatever magic opened the breach in the sky also placed that mark upon your hand. I theorized the mark might be able to close the rifts that have opened in the breach's wake. And it seems I was correct. 
Meaning it could also close the breach itself. Possibly. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. Good to know. Here I thought we'd be ass deep in demons forever. Barak Tethras, rogue, storyteller, and occasionally unwelcome tag along. Are you with the Chantry, or...? <laughs> Was that a serious question? Technically, I'm a prisoner, just like you. I brought you here to tell your story to the Divine. Clearly, that is no longer necessary. Yet, here I am. Lucky for you, considering current events. That's a nice crossbow you have there. Ah, isn't she? Bianca and I have been through a lot together. You named your crossbow Bianca? Of course. And she'll be great company in the valley. Absolutely not. Your help is appreciated, Varric, but... Have you been in the valley lately, Seeker? Your soldiers aren't in control anymore. You need me. Ugh. My name is Solus, if there are to be introduced. Killing you while you slept. You seem to know a great deal about it all. Like you, Solus is an apostate. Technically, all mages are now apostates, Cassandra. My travels have allowed me to learn much of the Fade. Far beyond the experience of any Circle Mage. I came to offer whatever help I can give with the Breach. If it is not closed, we are all doomed regardless of origin. That's a commendable <clears throat> attitude. Merely a sensible one. Although, sense appears to be in short supply right now. Cassandra, you should know. The magic involved here is unlike any I've seen. Your prisoner is a mage, but I find it difficult to imagine any mage having such power. Understood. We must get to the forward camp <clears throat> quickly. Indeed we must, well, so forward we travel. Look at short stuff over there, man. Excited. Shortcake. Check him out how small he is, man. My character just towers about every above everybody else, and that's why I like playing with the Kanari. Just saw there, people. I can pause at any time and give individual commands to any one of my party members to attack. Oh. Fuck me. Alright, that was unfortunate. Was not expecting that. Messed them up real quick. I hope Liliana made it through all this. Another rip! 
We must seal it! Quickly! They keep coming! Help us! Right, as you can see, we've earned one attribute point there. Rift is gone. Open the gate. So right I've away. given myself a barrier, basically. So now I could well I could cast a barrier that will protect, that add an extra layer of protection to myself and my crew. Alrighty, so we've leveled up as well. Let's go through and speak with Liliana. Alrighty, now let's go. Ah, here they come. <clears throat> you made it. Chancellor Roderick, this is... I know who she is. As Grand Chancellor of the Chantry, I hereby order you to take this criminal to Valroyo to face execution. Shit, up, you old bastard. Me? You are a glorified clerk. A bureaucrat. That's right, Cassandra. You tell them, bastard. How do you supposedly serve the Chantry? We serve the Most Holy Chancellor, as you well know. Justinia is dead. We must elect a replacement and obey her orders on the matter. Isn't closing the breach the more pressing issue? You brought this on us in the first place. Oh, Cassandra is mad. That's right. Our position here is hopeless. You we shut can up. Stop this before it's too late. Yes, we can. How? You won't survive long enough to reach the temple, even with all your soldiers. We must get to the temple. It's the quickest route, but not the safest. Our forces can charge as a distraction while we go through the mountains. We lost contact with an entire squad on that path. It's too risky. Listen to me. Abandon this now, before more lives are lost. How do you think we should proceed? We'll go with <clears throat> the mountain because Use there's the four mountain, people that we're going to rescue. Work together. You all know what's at stake. <clears throat> yeah, there's four guys Liliana, uh, up there, so I'm going to go rescue them. The valley. Everyone. On your head be the consequences, seeker. Indeed, on my head. You shut up, alien fool. All right, guys. We're going to go through the mountain where we're going to rescue four more people. If we don't go through the mountains, even though it's dangerous, those four people will die and they desperately need our help. So this is Dragon Age Inquisition, people. What I'll do once I get there, rescue them, I'll end part one because we're already running into approximately 45 minutes of gameplay here. So I hope you appreciate what we do. Hit like, subscribe for more. And as always, guys, your support is appreciated. Remember, every like the video gets, £10 gets donated to children's charity and cancer research. So you too can help today just by clicking like and subscribing to my channel. And thank you for your support, guys. The tunnel should be just ahead. The path to the temple lies just beyond it. What manner of tunnel is this? A mine? Part of an old mining complex. These mountains are full of such parts. And your missing soldiers are in there somewhere? Along with whatever has detained them. We shall see soon enough.
All right. Oh, here he is. Little bitch, have some fire. All right, that's those two enemies destroyed. Let's go inside. And wow, well, guys, to think two years later, this game still looks as amazing as it did back then. Here, I could set the behaviors of each of my party members. So I've told Cassandra basically to defend me and to follow me. Uh, right, and I'll go... No, that's me. Right, Varric will do the same. He'll basically defend. He'll defend me. Yep, that's right. And Solus will also... <clears throat> defend me as well. So now, what, what I've told each member to do is if I'm under... If I'm... If I'm in danger at any point, they'll basically follow me. They'll they'll target and follow and defend me. Right, sorted. So let's just save our game. Okay, let's save. Let's continue with the quest, guys. Alright, this is the Wrath of Heaven, basically, we're off to seal the large rift that is further down the path. But there is a big surprise when we get there. I won't spoil it, guys. If you want to see more of this wonderful game, I'll see you in part two. This is the end of part one, because we've run into, like, 49 minutes of gameplay. And I don't want to make the things too long, because uh, I want it to be at length where you guys can just kick back and enjoy it. So without further ado, guys, I'll see you in part two. Remember... Bob British is me on Twitch, www.bestofbritishgaminghd1, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.